Hi, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of the Glow Talk Show. I am your co-host, Terry, and this is... Gloria, your host. Period. All right, you guys. So we're going to let Gloria get right into the topic and give y'all a little glimpse, and we're going to get right into it. Yes, guys. We're going to be talking about what's going on in Gabrielle House, the Dwayne Wayne family. That's what we're going to be talking period. about. Wait, what's that, a video? It was oh, a video. Friend. friend, you were supposed to be the, today. You supposed to be going live. That was That's your fault. Uh-uh, just save it. See, now we being ghetto on the camera and we look unprepared. Hey, y'all, just joining in. Go back and laugh. Okay, hold on. Hey, guys, but we sorry. As she was saying, she she was talking about, uh, she said, let's talk about the household of um, Gabrielle and, um, what's the Dwayne. Dwayne. Yeah, yeah. my bills. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so, guys, um, let's get to this topic. We're trying to figure out what is going on in that house. And should be told, they're giving me the weird vibes. And Tara have a lot of experience as far as when you're undercover and you're living in the closet. And I feel like Dwayne is living in the closet. What do you think? Um, So, like, I feel as if, because I've seen different interviews where he's, like, uh, he's trying to basically educate himself about, like, you know, the LGBTQ plus community and his daughter transitioning. But then it's, like, I understand with him being, like, full on board with his daughter, but then at the same time it's, like, you have to set a boundary with her being so young, and then you can't just be too opening and too accepting to everything that she is doing. So it kind of, it may, on their end, is looking like, you know, it looks a little, I don't know how to really just. Friend, you very, you very bored. You say things, you don't hold back. Why I are you don't. holding back now? I'm not yeah. holding back because it's hard to comprehend that because it's like. Okay, so what's, what's hard? This is something you've been dealing with all your life. So, I mean, this is a topic that you should be able to talk about. Friend, I do that. Yeah, so I'm trying to. Tell you that you. So that's what I'm saying. So, like, for okay. example, like the picture that I saw of of Gabrielle, it's like if I was the daughter in that in those shoes, I wouldn't like that because and it's like as a picture, mom, I feel like, I feel like you're you trying. I feel like you're trying to fit in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's like a mockery. Like, you know, you because just because I'm transitioning, you want to put on the suit and be like more masculine. You're my mother. Why would you do that? And if you're not like that, and you're married to like my dad, I don't have a problem with. People dress how they want to dress, but mm-hmm. then coming from that situation, it's like, but well, why would you do that though? But it's always been like that. She always been the she always wear the pants in the relationship. So I, I mean, now she just wants the world to know. She, you know, she took she, the dress off. Now she really want to show her true color because mm-hmm. she was wearing a mask the whole time. But you be told she's the one that really wearing the pants in this relationship. Because let's be honest, and I really think Dwayne is living through his daughter or his son. But his daughter, his daughter he's transitioning. yeah, he's yeah. transitioning. I think he's living through her, and I think he's struggling with the fact that he's coming. That's one thing to be a supportive parent, mm-hmm. and that's another for you just to, you know, like, like yeah. put your life into that right, child, right, like right, right. you know, because you are afraid to come out. So I say this to say that we gonna love him regardless if he come out of the closet, because it's obvious that something is going on in the house. Because if you just said Gabriella's wearing a pants, she do give masculine vibes. So I I feel like she. She and and the wing gave a uh, female very, vibe, very like, like feminine, feminine like, like you know, like you see yeah. how he be in them pink suits, tight pants, boss up, you know, and it's just not giving for me. So mm. I really do think that the win is in the closet and he needs to come out. Like and what would you say? You say I you mean, can I'm tell kinda, from the jump. I'm, see, that's the thing when, though. Like I have a really good like radar when it comes to that, but. I kind of I agree because as masculine, but you know some some men are just very submissive though. But then on top of that, it's just like you said, he don't he don't play the role into like his daughter's like transitioning and like coming out like really really hard. Like it's like he's like really probably pushed it so hard to where low key I would probably think some of these probably could be for like publicity because to bring up numbers to bring them more money bring them attention because you're already you but have a she already has a relationship because to be told remember I, and this is based off your story you told me that when you started when you 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 know they took advantage of you yeah so and um, at that moment that's all you knew but at the end of the day you was a child somebody introduced it to you Right. So, so you, I'm trying to see because this baby who introduced is it to who the, introduced it to this baby. Right. And what made because you what made this baby want to be because out of a in other for you to want to be something you have to be around it. You have yeah, to you have see to know it. You have it. to witness it. You have to know about it. So if Dwayne is not gay in the house 
and um, who have y'all had? Yeah, around that baby? who have y'all had around that baby that molested that child or did something or did, to that or child? Even taught them or that. yes, because how did you just come up? Because you just I don't know come up for, the, yeah, no, seriously, you she's told right. me that you said that you don't just come up. You don't come up yes, out of nowhere just like boom. Yo, you born gay. So once again, I'm hitting you hard today. Where, huh? That was good though. Like, so where did that come from? They're just like we said last time. You you would call somebody gay, but we we will know the backstory of why are they gay? Like where did they come yeah. from? Mm-hmm. So that that's a good question. Yeah, you don't just get up and start smoking. Somebody got to introduce somebody gotta you. Show you that somebody got to show you how to roll it. Somebody, yeah. you know. So I feel pee, like, like I feel like somebody was around that child. Or there's something more than it's that because than that. it's deeper than that. And the fact that they're taking all the the uh, all these gay things and this and third and I just I feel like the way there's more to that. And especially being in like Because if This man was raising this child With nobody touching her I mean What would make you Yeah what would make you Want to What did you see you have all those brothers too Y'all all all play basketball Very masculine men in the house What what strayed you to that So once again What led to her being What is her name again Um Z Z Zaya Oh Amen Amen (laughs) Zaya That's her name (laughs) But that's a that's really good. <laughs> do you think? Hear me out, because I'm, I'm 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 thinking. Do mm-hmm. you think that that could be like a little a guilt trip, like Dwayne Dwayne Zaya? Zaya. Do you feel like that Dwayne is like very very supportive and pushing of what his daughter is doing because of something that he probably knows that went on behind closed doors that we don't know. So he's just basically being in full support because he's like. I, I have no other choice because I've heard of you already previously before. So I just have to support that and push it out. You get what I'm saying? Like I have yeah, to be like, an advocate for it. So what if it happened like how yours happened? It was a family member a family and member sleeping somebody in the under household. the rock. So now he has no choice but to support this baby into becoming. Hmm. Right. And then by then by them being so rich, he not at home with, he, with the kids. She, no. She not she either. Raised so y'all got all these babysitters, uncles, the nannies, nannies, and nannies. Only got and, I'm, and what we said last time, you can't trust everybody around your no, kids. You so once again, where did it start from? That's really the good question. What's the root of what actually made you know Zaya even figure out that, that she wanted she wants that to she like yeah. men? Yeah, and, you know she wants to, and then especially to the extent of wanting to transition to an actual girl. Yeah. So what do you think, Jonathan? Um, I, I think D Wade is one of those people who seems pretty open with who he is as a person, and so I think. Marital status is one thing, but I think who he is as a person is kind of evident in who he's become post his career. Right. So, like, I think he's okay with his daughter being that way because he sees the world for what it is. Like, right. You know, when you're rich, you live a different kind of life. Yeah, but he should look into that, though. But right. so, but how did this child just got up? From being a baby and deciding that, and mind you, fourteen years, no, for thirteen like years. She was, no, she How was did young, she just young, get up? Though. Now I know, but all now that I know that are like that, they all they all say that that's who they've always wanted to be. They was born like that. They say they've always any any time I've ever known somebody like that, they've already they've always told me that's how they've always saw themselves. Like I don't know anybody that's ever gotten older and decided to change. So yeah, it starts, that's what I'm saying, it starts young, but it's introduced by someone. Somebody, who I'm introduced sure. it to yeah, her? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, so I'm wondering, like... So who introduced her? Who, who that's, was that's she the thing. around that could have possibly even showed her that? And and she make, and Tara make a whole lot of sense when he said that um, the little girl is around babysitters and these I know people her parents are not own, around her all know? the time. So somebody introduced this to her. She didn't just get up at a young yeah. age and decide that, oh, I want to be with... No, the yeah, that's a good question to ask. But then on top of that, it's like when that in that lifestyle where your kid is, you're not around your child all the time, and you you're exposing them to different people. people. They're moving all around the world. They're traveling. You're encountering different people. That is a very high risk, though. Yeah. Because that's the that, that's what happens to us in our in our in our in our in our close homes. We're working jobs, so we got people babysitting our kids. Right. So while we at work making money to support for our kids, you got somebody babysitting your child, and they doing something to your kid. Right. So it's to the parents like Dwayne and, and Gabrielle. They're working, making a living for their kids, kind of da da da. But y'all are away from them, sure. so you never know what's going on. And like in my case, it went on for years, and you can be taught that don't tell nobody, we'll get in trouble, da da. You can, and especially from a child, the girl Zaya is what fourteen, 
I, I think she came out when she was like really, really young mm-hmm. though. So yeah. that is a child. Like your brain is like her brain's not even fully developed to even be understanding like that you want to be a full woman or a girl. So it's like at the end day is at that very young of an age, somebody so trying to, to hide introduce something. that to her. So they are just, yeah. they are willing to accept her as that yeah. to hide whatever it is. Where really because is happening, yeah. It's somebody like you said, um, Black people always sweep it on under, under the, rug. the rug. So, so I feel like it's, like, it's something rug. deeper than that. Yeah. Now, now that you, now we were saying that out loud, it's like, mm-hmm. you have to look it into that perspective. Yeah. They said that the male, the nanny they had was a male, and he was, uh, he was gay. And so I'm guessing maybe that may be, but like, so, whoever this white man is, is uh, and white see? men I don't even want to get on topic mm-hmm. of white men yeah. but like you say, it's, it he, and he probably introduced it to that baby probably was sticking you know doing the uh, most you know I mean that. I'm just saying yeah mm-hmm. that's, crazy. that's but yes well you guys so tell me what y'all think so y'all already heard our opinion <laughs> so mind you these are our opinions this is what we think but me I'm a I feel like I'm a very solid person when it comes to like my analysis and with the points that Gloria did point out it makes sense. And by me actually walking in those shoes and saying that out loud, it makes sense. So I want you guys to come in below yeah. and let me know what y'all think. Do y'all feel as if it's like as a family that should d- dig deeper and investigate? Or they probably already did. But like, again, when you were they like, they kind of last that, they got too much money. They're not yeah, going to yeah. explode that. I and mean, I ain't feeling money, about that. Anything, yeah, they sweep that stuff on the rug. They, he, Gabriel is his wife. And she she gay right. too. I think she gay. Because I don't she get very masculine. She like, she controls her relationship. Vibe, like, all kinds probably, of like, vibes. Like, yeah, like hitting him and stuff. Yeah, and, she looks like, like, yeah. I'm not talking about fish. I'm talking about like, she probably be doing things with him in the bed, like taking over him. Because she looks very. Like, you think And she, women are like that. Women, y'all nasty. Y'all be, y'all, y'all be like that. You think she into the bed? And probably eating him up from the bag I'm all of that like cause I'm gonna tell y'all something women get down like that eating him from the bag all of that do I look like he like his legs you know what I'm saying (laughs) so cause she cause Gary she very strong black woman so she gives like that dominant look so it's like I wouldn't be surprised cause I know some women who eat booty and like to be like you know the man of the relationship do you think men that gets the butt eating are gay gay? If, if he's by a woman you're not gay See, the thing is, because a man, your G-spot... <laughs> you Jonathan, look, look. Jonathan took a deep breath on <laughs> So look, okay. your G-spot... Yeah. Okay, look, let's clear this up. My host had to take a deep breath, a guys. Deep breath. So look, your, 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 for a man, your G-spot is in your, you know, your, you know, inside that part. So when, when it's done to you by a woman, it's like, that's not gay. Gay, the gay terminology when you're gay is because you're attracted to men. If a woman's doing that, that's not gay. That's just love. I know women who eat ass, balls, jiggle... All of that. So I know some very nasty women. So at the end of the day, that does not make a man gay because I like to get his, his ass ate. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> I'm going to love y'all. But still, that doesn't make it. Now, that's like, I've also, I learned about um, pegging. Pegging is where a woman wears a strap and she she hits her, she penetrates her husband. And that's my guess. That's I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that because that's a deal, though. That's a dick. But I, I feel like if it was like her her finger or her tongue that's not gay but when you go to the extent of like a woman strapping herself up and like pegging your men you no, like to get because, penetrated no because no you like have to gay. no because finger is penetration too you have to realize but it's a tongue, tongue you, you could tongue yo, is going in and out so so Tara watch yourself why you do that Tara, Tara gets so excited I hope none about of my this. dance girls are on here let me end this live because you can get to know <laughs> they're, they're still gonna watch the show they're still gonna watch right, the show baby, baby, still so get back, back get back, like, back hey, in I'm back but that's a Tara get excited about so that's the next another question while we on that topic do y'all feel like cause I'm I'm a guardian to tell y'all I feel like men who get their ass said by women they're not gay but do y'all feel like I feel like to an extent it can kind of get it could there's a limit. It's a limit. There's You're right. It's the limit. So there's a line that you draw. It's there. a line. It is. Yeah, I don't know about sticking my tongue in no man's ass, but I can get my ass it though. But yeah, I realize if you like it, then he'll like it too. Yeah, I guess I'm. I'm See, gonna you be gotta selfish. work your way into it. Nah, you gotta. See, nah. I ain't gonna say all of that because my family gonna watch this. No, nah, I'm not gonna to get the routine. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I'm not but gonna get into you gotta that, work your way into it's, it. It's an art to it. You know what I'm saying? No, I one can't. day we gonna talk about that art. Remember I said this, y'all? The art. <laughs> You gotta, you know what I'm saying, guys. My listen, my co-hosts get excited when it. Yes, it's just somebody. Mm. Mm. Okay, so uh, what else you want to talk about before we go ahead and end this for the next episode? I know you want to talk about Jeffrey movie. Oh yes, another topic we want to talk about Jeffrey. So, um, reason I'm talking about him because I was listening to the radio this morning and they said that Boosie basically wants he. 
basically said he wants to um, ban the whole movie and he feels as, as if all the victims should be receiving money for um, all this other stuff. Like basically like the money that Netflix is making. But then day is when I thought about it, I was like, everybody that's talking about it and y'all want to ban it, y'all don't like it. Netflix already made their money. Good, right. good publicity or bad publicity, they already made their money. Now, I saw some people mad because they said that Jeffrey has seven movies and 20 shows out. Seven, 20 shows and Malcolm X only has one. Let me tell you something. When people have money, you put your money into what you know is going to make you money. We know about Malcolm X already. He's old. I love him to death. That's my bestie. But Jeffrey, that's an actually good story. It, they already made their money. So I feel like what he did to the, his, first of all, he had a type. He had every serial killer has a, a look or niche or something that they like to look for. His was black men. That's what he liked. We can't wrong him for that. He's already dead. So you can't be mad at for something that he likes. And I don't understand as, as me being black. I feel like if he was out on those streets, you know, we are a target. I'm too big for Jeffrey because baby, you six feet. I'm six five. But that's movie. the thing. Um, when you watch the movie, because I watched it all the way to episode 10, and I just feel like it's overrated. The hype is just too much because this is nothing new, to you be honest. Ask your guest, they said something about Cap. Um, what about the Cap? What's Cap? So Cap is like another like, term no, for like someone's lying or... Oh, yeah, okay. so we'll, you comment that while we're talking. So you said you watched the way to episode 10. Yeah, and then so um, yeah, you can call... Um, Call watch, in. Yes, call in so we can we'll, know we'll what talk. you're talking about. But anyway, so I watched the uh, episode up to 10, right? Mm -hmm. And I just feel like it's a whole lot of hype going on social media about this movie. And it, and it's coming from the black community, to be right. honest. We're giving this movie. And if you really watch this movie, the man, the man Jeffrey is getting all the credit. When he died... I, I screenshotted this. When he died, the, they asked them to take his brain to the science lab mm. because they want to work on it to know why, why, what was the cause of him doing what yeah. he was doing. So this man was getting credit for everything. In the prison, he was getting credit. And, you know, the thing about it, and this is what happened in real life. And that's why now the black community is on this Jeffrey movie. People talking about they can't sleep. There's a demon coming from the movie. People need to stop this. No, they seriously. Know, that's no, your mind. Yeah, somebody talk about there's demons and they, you you inviting ghosts into your house you have watched way scary movie than that paranormal so, activity so what are you talking about and then when you really watch this you will see that when jeffrey this this a lot of statement i took from this movie when he got pulled over the first time he was drunk and the police officer this is what he told him he said you 18 you have your whole life like ahead of you. you and i do not want to you know damage ruin, ruin your yeah. life um but he gets one chance, two chance, three chance. This man went out and openly had sex in the park, you know, and they kept giving him chances. Now, how many black kid at I that see. age that is in prison right now doing 20 to 30 years? How many black kids at the age of 13 that was that didn't even have first chances that are doing 20 years for, still for something? Yes, stores, still had yes. little corner stores, and they got years, years. behind it. Free Keatling. Yes, but now this white man got... Slap on the wrist too many times. Look, take for example the things that happened to that man. If it was even when the board, the the police officer when they met the board that escaped with the handcuffs on his hand, you saw how they treated him like he was the criminal. Yeah, they stopped him. Like they, yeah. yeah, they stopped him. They put him in the car they, because they didn't even want to believe that he was. You know, he ran yeah. up with the fact that he had a handcuff on his they hand. They automatically assumed like, you don't got for somebody. That he yes. He but if he was white, they probably would have been like, hey, what's going on? Like, how did you get yep. those handcuffs the on you? The first thing they asked him, are you drunk? Are you drunk? These are the questions. Yeah. But did he ask Jerry if, you know, when it, he had a body part in his car, whatever he told them, they was okay with it. But they I actually believe that he had leaves in his car. Yeah. Uh -huh. But if it, if it was a black man driving that car at that time of the night. They would have that whole car down yes. looking for drugs and would have found them bodies. So there is nothing new in the movie that is not happening every day. That's because it's already day. happening, period. Because this is what happened every day. So now talking about stopping the movie and getting it off Netflix. For what though? We're the one that giving the movie ratings. Right. They already make that Everybody money. is talking about the, 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 everybody talking about Jeffrey, but they're not talking about the victim. No, I have real. not seen nobody post about the victims or nothing. I had to post the victims. <laughs> And then take, for example, he wants to cancel the movie, right? Mm -hmm. What about the park? The park is still not built. Today is 2022. Now, Boozy, right? Boozy said he wants to... Um, he wants to ban the whole movie off Netflix. So this and is what it says right here. I want you to put this on the camera and see if you can zoom in. Hey, the park is still not built yet. The park for the victim, the, the place, the apartment complex that it happened... 
the Brook that apartment complex down, but the park is still not built. Now, people was on social media talking about they was going to sign paper for uh, Aria to give her kids back to the baby daddy or whatever mm-hmm. the case is. Nah, I need them to sign these papers for them to get this park together. And y'all see how y'all put y'all attention to the wrong thing the every wrong time. Thing. Every time. Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all don't ever look at the big picture of what's mm-hmm. really going on. Y'all always want to nitpick the little dumb stuff. That's crazy. You do remember I didn't even when know they, about that part. You do remember when they uh, told her that they was going to sign papers for her, her baby daddy to take her baby because yeah. she had her son, Hassan, at a party. Mm-hmm. But that's the thing, though. You're over here worrying about the wrong thing. And when true be so, y'all need to sign paper for this, the park. It's still not built. And we're in 2022. And these meant, big tents. Baby, this happened in the 90s. I wasn't even born. So, Boozy, I'm calling you out. You remember you just built something in your house for your daughter? Built the park. So since you want to show down the show, go ahead and build the build park. Build the park. You have a huge fan. You have you you one of America biggest and greatest. Enjoy my life. So how about you build the park? Because the park is still not built. The victims are still not being acknowledged. Nobody even know the names of these victims. Because mm, I don't. The place is still empty and the park is still not built. So now how about Boosie instead of you turning a show that has already been watched by millions of people and have millions of readings, how about you build the park? Use your voice to build the park. Let the victim be heard. See that's the problem. You people will be so quick to approach it in a negative way. If Boosie really wanted to make an impact, he would have built that park up and been like, it took for me a black man to actually build this park up for these victims and then he would have got the actual right positive publicity and then everybody would have been looking into it right but no you got on social media talking trash like oh no Ben this the movie he's sick da 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 but at the end of the day is you're talking about the victims and how they're not getting on help but what have you done to help them right and at the end of the day there's no reason for them to bend the movie because it educating the other kids no, the real. other generation it's, it's that- also, so really the bigger picture is that well, like I've learned, if you're out partying, I'm not finna, I'm not finna be set my drink. I'm mm. finna take no drink from nobody. Yeah. I've learned about uh, the freaking. I learned about different drugs and medicines. Start with the Z, with like Xavion and mm. some stuff he was using. Um, and it's crazy how smart he was. He was. He was dumb in school, but smart as a whip. The jobs that he had, he knew what he was doing because it was getting him resources to what actually he was going to pick up and use later on down the line. And because his dad had taught him these things yeah. too. So he and y'all see how having an education could like make you like prolong you just you learn so much more than the means. So people that's why people don't understand like the the white people will sometimes always be ahead of us because they put stuff in books and black people don't read. And it's, see y'all not y'all look, y'all true. thinking about the, the dumbest stuff. Oh he's Killing all the black people, but no, y'all need to actually think back, like, and analyze it. Not think emotional about the people and the victims. Think logically what he was doing and how he was doing it. And this movie happened when again? In the nineties. And another topic so, I want to talk about that we that we could bring up is uh, I want to ask you this, uh, Jonathan. Do you feel like divorces really take a toll on people? I've never been through that in a family. So, so do you feel like a divorce next episode? Yes, I'm saying. So do you feel like a divorce could actually affect? Kids it affect the child to where they they will make bet because our, our movies they they use it as an excuse they're like oh yes he's, yes he's mom and, and dad got yes, divorced you know what it. they did say that in the movie she he they was used like that. he went through a very bad divorce and his mom was not around and that's why and thank God you said that because to be honest. It happens a lot in America. These white kids get mad and go to the school because their parents tell them you can't have this allowance or I'm taking your phone away mm-hmm. from you to buy guns and go and shoot up a school and this and the third. That, so do you think the divorce is the actual reason? No, because or? I'm about to say this. If that's really what mental health is, then you never met an African. Now, let me tell you guys what really mental health is. You know what mental health is? I'm from West Africa, Liberia to be a sack. Where a country have fought 15 to 14 years of civil war. Mm. As a kid, as five years old, when I was growing up, knowing myself or even being a baby, mm-hmm. I grew up on the run. You know mm. why I was running? Because every time we sat to eat and have family time, there was guns, there was Misa, there was grenades, there was bombs everywhere. Mm. So as a kid, I knew that when there was people running, I have to run. No matter the direction. I have to run. Now, that's what mental health is. Mental health is me being five years old and watch a rebel open a pregnant woman's stomach in front of me and wave with the baby in front of me at the age of five years old. 
Mental health is me watching the rebel come in my home and take my my family and put them down in front of me. And I was the only baby at the age of probably six, seven. And I stand across the road and watch all my family online with guns pointed to the heads. And it's by the grace of God that none of them got shot. Now, that's what mental health is. Now, see, things like that will have me out here acting a fool. Thank things you. like that will have me out here killing motherfuckers. Killing, yeah, that'll give you the things right. like yeah. that. And you know what's fucked up? America has yet to sit down with Africa and say, you know what, let's help you guys right. as far as healing. But y'all want to go back to Africa and take our resources. The gold, the, the Y'all want to go to Africa. The now you're right. making movies. The woman king. You are taking our culture, but we was African booty scratcher. What happened to African booty right. scratcher? Now everybody wants to. I want to. Uh, 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 yeah. A shayo and Ibo, whatever. Brenda boy, y'all all on it now. But what happened to when we been in this civil war for years? Your brothers to this country, but not once y'all went back to help the people in Africa. So we, to rebuild, to, to help, re, to yeah, heal their to minds. To help them rebuild their minds. You're still going back to Africa and taking from Africa, but you have yet to go to Africa and say, these people need to rehabilitate their minds. Right. We have to bring them back to where they was. I have yet... in You know, when I got therapy, a little bit of therapy, that's when I went to prison. I've been in America 16 to 17 years. When I went to prison, I sat with a therapy person to talk about these things. Mm. My mom is 70 years old and have yet to talk about the things that happened to her as mm. in her childhood. I and I witnessed worse happen to my mom. But nobody has given her the chance to speak. 14 years of civil war. And then we're not out here killing people. And then these kids are over here would get up and go kill somebody and say, oh, my mom refused to give me my phone today. So I'm going to go kill somebody. And then they say, oh, because their parent divorced. Okay. So their parent divorced. Okay. I told them where I came from in Africa. The, the judge didn't give me a slap on the wrist. Mm. He read my history and knew that I came from a broken country. He read everything about me as a child. He didn't give me a slap on the wrist and say, you know what? You need mental health. You had a hard life. You had a I'm hard life. I'm going to give you a pass. Like how the judge look at uh, 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 Jeffrey and told Jeffrey that um, you have your whole life ahead of you. Remember the judge the, told him the that. Police officer, no, yeah. the judge told him that too. The judge did tell him yeah, that. The judge told him that I'm not going to. I'm. This is what you need. Mental health, this and that. Mental health is where we're from. We're Africans. It's what really is called mental health. The things y'all go through over here, taking your phones away and this and that, and you go. They don't give you no right to go out here and no, kill nobody. No, it doesn't. If you feel in some type of way and you want to kill, kill yourself. That's the message for the day. With that being said, we're done, guys. Stay tuned. Follow us on YouTube. Period. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We are here every Friday with different episodes. And this platform is open to... Whoever judgmental free, we don't judge nobody. Come telling it all. Come, come as you story. are, and don't let us how we talk and how we look and fool y'all. We're I'm as ghetto as everybody in here. Come as you are. We love everybody. Period. Thank you guys. <laughs>